You can shake one time for me. But where the hell have they come on over, baby? A whole lot of shaking going on. In the early years, he was really torn between wanting to go to church and just do gospel music. He felt like it was wrong for him to do songs like Great Balls of Fire and a whole lot of shaking going on. He was fighting that back and forth every day. Despite Jerry's very real fear of eternal damnation, Great Balls of Fire sold a million copies in 10 days. He celebrated by sweeping young Myra off her feet. He comes home and here it is, and I looked at it. It said Jerry Lee Lewis, Myra Gale Brown, and had marriage license at the top. I said, Jerry, I'm just a kid. He said, no, you're not, you're a grown woman. I oh, no, I'm not. I was a little more mature than Jerry was. He was 22 and I was 13. I was the thinking adult in that relationship. The next day, Jerry Lee told J.W. he was taking Myra into town to see a movie. By that evening, Jerry's first cousin was also his father-in-law. But I found some rice in their clothes. In yeah, Myra's giveaway. clothes. Yeah, that was a big <laughs> giveaway there. And I said, I'm taking my gun. I'm going up there and I'm going to kill him. I said, <laughs> I was so mad to think that my cousin had married my 13-year-old daughter. That was enough to make anybody mad. It seems the money, the fame, and the glory of rock and roll helped the family heal. All of a sudden, everything was just exploding for Jerry. Bigger shows were coming in, more money was coming in, and that's where the problems began. Our booking agent, then, he had booked us on a tour to go to England. We thought we'd be all right, but we wasn't planning on any of the family going. And, and Jerry said, no, I'm not going unless Myra goes. Everybody was going to Jerry saying, please don't take Myra. Let's just keep this private. Nobody would tell me anything. I didn't know to lie. So when we arrived in London, reporters came over, said, oh, who are you, miss? And I said, oh, I'm Jerry's wife. And he said, oh, how old are you? And I said, uh, I did know to lie about that, 15. And all of a sudden, reporters are all around both of us, and it's like, what happened? What did I do? What did I do? I didn't know that this was going to set off an explosion heard around the world. When they found out that uh, that was his second cousin, but they assumed first or whatever, it really doesn't matter. Cousin's a cousin. Eddie Kilroy is a country music producer who became a confidant over the years. I think the one that, that really drove the nail in the coffin for him on that whole deal was when they started hammering on him about Myra. And he said, uh, that ain't no big deal. I got two more back in Louisiana just like her. He was like, I cannot believe these people are so upset about something so silly. Then it came out that Jerry had been married a couple of times before and didn't bother getting divorces. He would married one girl. He didn't get a divorce from her. And then he married another girl. He didn't get a divorce from her. And then he married me. I don't know what it is about the people in Louisiana. They just don't think divorces are necessary evils. When that awful publicity came out in all those tabloids. That was very hard for him. And they were just heckling and harassing him and all that. And it just got worse. We could not go outside of the hotel. If you looked out the window, every building around us had people in the windows, hanging out the windows looking. Scotland Yard said they'd like for us to leave because they were afraid that they couldn't protect us. When we arrived back to Memphis, we were certain and they were going to be like, come to mama, you know. Well, the papers reported that you were greeted with silence over there and with cat calls from the audience. Is that right? Well, I, I can't agree with them that, sir. Uh -huh. I, our audience was very nice and very good. Mm -hmm. Were you there, Mrs. Lewis? At this... I was there, but I wasn't at the shows. Oh, you weren't at the shows. Mm -hmm. oh, did you notice anything uh, uh, like that, that sort of reception? No, it was very good reception, I thought. Uh, when were you married? Pardon? When were you married? Well, we leave our personal questions out of this, sir. <laughs> All right. Well, good luck. Thank you. Jerry had been making $10,000 a show. He's back to making $200. Mm -hmm. 